Hello, in this Bootstrap 4 video, we're going to show you pagination, which provides pagination links for your website, which has multi-page layout. So if I just go onto one of our social networks, which is vented.co, check it out, this allows you to anonymously vent. But if we just scroll down we have our pagination right here so we got our multi-page content Ooh. clicked on one of the links if i let's say click on number 10 which is the last page takes me there it's highlighting and as you can see i can't go any further so this is essentially what we're going to be constructing to do it first of all we need to start off with a nav so let's put a nav right here so many elements or so many components within bootstrap that use a nav very useful and it takes no class we're going to put an unordered list inside and the unordered list takes a class of pagination and inside here it contains list items each each one of these are list items so the first one is going to be this back arrow this back button to do that you put list item it's not an image or anything like that it's all handled using code so if I put inside here at ahref equals I'm gonna make it do hash I'm not gonna make any of these buttons go anywhere because that's gonna be specific to your website because you might have some jQuery some Ajax or some PHP you're just going to another page that's going to be dependent on what you're doing and you're going to put area dash label equals previous inside here we're going to have two spans the first one is going to have area dash hidden equals true and inside here we're going to have ampersand l a q u o semicolon don't worry you won't print any of that out you'll print out the arrows that we saw before it's going to copy and paste that actually didn't really need to copy and paste it because we're going to delete pretty much everything this is going to have class equals sr dash only so this is just for screen recorders inside here we're going to put previous we're gonna copy and paste this and this is now going to be the next page button so we're gonna change this to next we're gonna change this to R so there's left and right and for screen readers we're gonna put next and in between here we put the list items which are our numbers they don't have to be numbers they can be letters they can even be words if you want generally speaking if you're gonna have a few pagination items if you start putting words in there it doesn't look very good but you can it's totally up to you put a list item and inside okay i'll keep it all on one line because there is nowhere near as much code as these and this one i'm gonna put a href again i'm not gonna make it go anywhere because that's specific to your website i'm gonna make it just stay on this page inside here I'm gonna put the number one copy and paste this a few times change this to two three four five six seven eight nine ten now if we save that go to our website refresh there you go we have our pagination like I said they don't go anywhere at the moment and we're not going to make them go anywhere because that's specific to your website but what I want to show you is disabled and active states disabled and active states are used like so this is disabled now i can't select it and it shows this little red button and that's because i'm on the last page and this one is now active because i'm on that page and to do this really simple what we're going to do is make the previous button disabled because we're going to make it so we're on the first page class disabled you can actually put a class for disabled on one of these if you really want it if your website dictates that it needs that 
and what we're going to do is put a class of active no just refresh and there we go we have our stop sign and this is now active the next thing we're going to show you is sizing so you know what I'll copy and paste this so you can see the difference in sizing so we'll keep the normal one and we're going to create two more the first size we're going to show you is large to do that where, where you've got the pagination class add another class of pagination dash LG and I think you guessed it for the small size just do the same before pagination dash SM save refresh and as you can see we have a larger pagination system and a smaller pagination system so that's it really for the basics of pagination there is something called pages as well but we'll cover that in a separate video so check that out you'll be in this series if you have any questions feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk for slash question.php there'll be a link in the description to that please rate comment and subscribe as it really does help us understand what you really want from our videos and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day